Greetings, wrestling fans, and welcome to Squared Circle Society. Uh, great to hear that music. As always, we've got uh, UITV Episode 4 coming this week to stream XPW. So check that out, UEW fans. I am Flesh Wound Dan, joined by producer Todd. That's all wrestling fans, not just UEW fans. We're trying to create new UEW all. Yes. New, yes. Actually, new and new fans. Old. Yes. Rob Black uh, will be back on this week's episode. I hear. Yes. yes. Wow. yes. I hear. I know. <laughs> yes. yes. You lived it, Tad. You know. And Pugs Dread. Namaste. And uh, yeah, so we're coming off XPW Baptized in Blood 4. Technical issues be damned. It still went on and had a great show. And uh, it also featured the debut of Ozzy B on commentary. Oh, my God. Did you guys see that? He took a picture with Munch. And and his he's got it. Did he? (laughs) I was dying. I didn't even know if he knew he was. I don't know what the hell happened there. (laughs) One second, or let me get one of those. (laughs) (laughs) It's an interesting night. I I hear Ozzy uh, stray tube, but we'll get to that. We'll get to that. (laughs) What stray tube? Ozzy ate uh, some. Some light tube shrapnel. Oh. To the <laughs> when you said eight, I was like, "It's eat, eat the turnbuckle." But okay, it's a okay. Got you. <laughs> yes. Well, he ate the tube, or eat yeah. the tube, whatever the case may be. He took one in the face like a champ. Uh, nothing new to him. So, anyways, on to the big show. Take one in the face like it. <laughs> <laughs> Our buddies. Uh, yeah, yeah. Todd, you I'll made it through the entire it. show without getting punched. I tried. You I, tried. I can vouch he did try. <laughs> <laughs> that it's it's just gotta happen. He, he goes, Ozzy he gets hit. That's that's karma. It's like the force one of you is gonna take it on the chin. It ended up being Ozzy. Ben but, Grimm uh, for the win here. Yeah. <laughs> What's up, Richard and Ben? <laughs> hey, Richard. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> ben Grimm. You know, Richard, I'm going to have a conversation with you because I think it's time to bring something back. Make sure a camera is on so you guys can uh, <laughs> put it on Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Yeah. oh, so now, you, now you're down with the bad dude, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to call some bullshit on that. Did you, you know, those did are you the same color? initials as what you were chanting yesterday. Oh, what we were chanting, I should say, yesterday. <laughs> well, Richard, I hope you got to see dick it. energy. Yeah. <laughs> A lot of that. <laughs> and, and that was, uh, well, we should probably get into it then. Huh? Yeah, let's do it. Yes, we'll get right into the show. So, of course, we kick things off with... The well, not yet, Todd. The boss himself, Rob oh, Black, God. came out first. Todd, God, uh, yes, Todd. I was going so to the matches. I don't have a, I don't have a graphic for that. So, thank you, <laughs> Rob Black. Richard's killing me. Comes, dude. Out, comes out. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> it was me Todd. <laughs> I did it, and I shit on those bitches' heads. <laughs> Oh, Lord. This is the worst. Uh, this. Uh, it's Dan might have last night's disappear. programming, right, guys? <laughs> Let's Dan may disappear before this show's done at the rate we're going. <laughs> You're at a 10. We need you at a 7. Shut up, Tad. So he brings out King of the Death Match, Homeless Jimmy. Uh, they embrace. Uh, kind of gives Jimmy his flowers there a little bit. Uh, we get Can a I Jimmy Cuomo. So? Absolutely. The... the legendary homeless jimmy finally finished the only story that matters mm-hmm. and uh his promo gets interrupted by judge joe dread uh, who uh, accuses rob of playing favorites by having jimmy get a favorable entry in that uh, gauntlet match and uh, he says he lays out a challenge for june 23rd and challenges homeless jimmy for the for the King of the Death Match title, uh, we get some uh, Sleepy Joe chants. <laughs> I'm sure that was no doubt orchestrated by Maga Munch in the crowd. And uh, yeah, we'll have to wait and see to be continued. May have been Maga Caesar too. <laughs> Maga 
Maga Caesar. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, I'm, I'm still waiting for Maga Caesar to debut. Ellen Munch, you know, you got, you got the spot. I got a guy right here. <laughs> got a guy Maybe not lives. as pretty, but. No, but he lives the gimmick. He lives the gimmick. <laughs> it's not a gimmick for him, dude. <laughs> it's real to me, damn it. <laughs> I'm trying to keep it at seven. Sorry, Dan. <laughs> it's all right, Tad. It's okay. Uh, so match number one, we get Bestia666 taking on Tad's favorite of all time, Bad Dude Tito. Uh, uh, who... graphic. Where, where is old bitch made baby dick Tito? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it was good, Chad. I didn't say he could wrestle. He's he's still a yeah. Man. <laughs> his in ring work is not <laughs> Todd's issue. <laughs> <We> have... <laughs> New Japan superstar, bad dude Tito. I was just a, I was just a young man cheering for the 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 good guys and not liking them bad dudes. And I I, I catch one to the face. Well, that didn't sound right. I got punched <laughs> in the face. There you go. There you go. A lot of, a lot of taking it. And they the both shit. remember they, they both had a moment of embrace. They made eye contact. <laughs> Words are exchanged. They did. Yeah. Cinematic. They did. They did. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I did see bad dude Tito. I think it looked like he was waving a fist at your way. Uh, <laughs> Go ahead. I was going to say, the... oh, go ahead, Pugs. I don't know. I was, he, he, he just asked Todd if he, he wanted to revisit, and Todd was agreeing. He's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it, would, it, it would be, be a sucker this time. <laughs> that is, that is a fact. <laughs> but then he went around and took his, his frustration out on the, the crowd. He did. He did. So we get some great chain wrestling in this one. Uh, bad dude Tito showing off his strength, catching uh, Bestia suicide dive and jamming him into the rail. Uh, T Boone suplex onto Bestia. Uh, this was a really good mix of styles. They trade German suplexes. Uh, there's a really cool spot where Tito power bombs uh, Bestia off the top rope. And it all ends with Bestia reversing an F5 into a small cradle for the win. Um, so I thought this was a hot way to kick it off. Lots of great wrestling once again, because those of you unfamiliar with XPW, uh, they do wrestle, as they, they said in the old classic DVD, We Wrestle. Uh, and this was just a fantastic match. R reminded me almost of the old days with Mike Modest uh, and the company. And uh, yeah, Bestia gets the upset, though. I was... Very impressed with this one. Uh, what did you guys upset. think? No, no, I don't think it was an upset either. <laughs> we were cheering for BCS the entire time. Say, say, say. We even, we even you know, as a, since UEW is streaming on XBW, stream oh, XBW.com. Yes, you know, we, yes. we did have some of those classic UEW chats from the, the days of when Tito was in hate. So, and uh, when uh, those episodes, oh, that hurt my eyes. You, well, you remember when I, when I did that? <laughs> one of them, and they got all mad at me. <laughs> um, uh, but you'll be able to follow along with what happened, and I'm sure uh, the footage will be uh, it'll be enlightening. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, it's a hot opener to kick off the show. Uh, so it did get us all involved. So yeah, it was a good opener for sure. Yeah. Very good opener, very good opener. And hopefully uh, so, more, uh, more of TD, TMDK come, because uh, uh, Shane Thorpe, big fan. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm a big Shane Thorpe fan as well, yeah. I, I was going to say. Never know in the future. Uh, so, match Badge number two. a character, though. <laughs> <laughs> match number two, uh, our own Ozzy V gets joined on commentary by some guy named Mitch. Not oh. Mitch Bauer. If it was Mitch Bauer. Oh my God. <laughs> I think you would have had a rope and got that dude out of there. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, I, I think Mitch needs to uh, retire from commentary. <laughs> but that, nonetheless, Ozzy B, you know, uh, doing yeah. what he can to save the show. <laughs> I don't want to shit on Mitch because I do think there's something there, but you, uh, I think you need to learn the fundamentals of ca calling a match, sir. <laughs> and then know uh, the names of certain moves. 
and that, not the WWE. Did. And then yes, and that really <laughs> yes. annoyed me. Uh, I'll get. Well, we'll get there later. Please continue. <laughs> That's all right. So, uh, match number two, we get the hardcore hillbilly with Mega Maga Munch taking on Mosh Pit Mike and Chewy Martinez in a three way. And uh, what did Munch refer to them as? Because like that that felt pretty old school. Do you remember that? Was that did that make a camera? I do not. Oh, it, probably it, it something like, I cannot say. It involved beans. <laughs> uh, Steve yes. L. When the night started and I heard Ozzy and Larry, I was so excited. Match two with Todd, fan from Wish, and that announcer. <laughs> it was down. <laughs> yeah. Todd you said it not out yes. in front of the camera. <laughs> I, I don't like to put over Ozzy too much. He gets a big head, big hair head. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, big TNA fan too, and uh, you came across in the in his work. Uh, so we get hardcore hillbilly. I already said this. Hardcore hillbilly, Mosh Pit Mike, and Chewy Martinez. Um, so we get some. Uh, Speaking big- of. Well, okay, we'll come back to Mosh Pit, Mike. Okay. Yes, we get some double team action on poor hardcore Hillbilly, uh, mm-hmm. who... All he was trying to do was defend oh, our man. borders, and boom, fucking jump his I, ass. I was going to say, he was he was getting double teamed, uh, taking some stiff chair, chair shots. <laughs> uh, they snapped the flag in half. Man. Caesar was almost inconsolable. It, it was hard to watch. I... I was going to say, Caesar was ready to storm the Capitol to beat that ass. After he was going to J6 one. the guardrail. You were absolutely correct. He, I had to hold him. He, absolutely, <laughs> he, absolutely, he was going to just pull that, pull the moose skin out of his hat, and he was just going to go in there and start cleaning house. Lucky that didn't happen. But, uh, but yeah, we get a keyboard smashed over Hardcore Hillbilly. We get uh, all sorts of crazy shit uh, in this match. Uh, there's... Uh, Poor Hillbilly got tossed through a ladder. Uh, Chewy uh, cuts Mosh Pit Mike open with a fork uh, that he personally obtained from Abdullah the Butcher. I hear he's getting checked uh, as we speak. <laughs> and uh, yeah, this one's cra- this one was crazy. Uh, Hillbilly hits the Vader bomb onto Mike, uh, who is wedged under a steel chair. Uh, I think Hardcore Hillbilly, I mean, we've talked about this before. I think he's improved a lot since his debut. Uh, you know, more or less just being a corner guy, and he's becoming a superstar before our very eyes. Uh, I thought he looked great here. Um, uh, we get some, we get a really nasty side Russian leg sweep by Chewy, uh, off the apron through a table onto hardcore hillbilly. Um, a little bit of confusion, but uh, Chewy pins hardcore hillbilly outside. Uh, I'm going to say I don't know that that should count because I didn't hear anything about any false count anywhere. You, there, you mean so. that win is undocumented? Yeah, I agree. <laughs> that that win is definitely undocumented. Mm-hmm. Wow. Definitely wow. undocumented. Yeah. Dan's getting a little extreme himself. I'm surprised he went with that. Yeah, right on. <laughs> the the right you, Dan. The, the win win was undocumented. You know, the match was stolen uh, like the election was four years ago. <laughs> I, I believe Ozzy V said it, 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 it went about the same as the 2020 election. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Ozzy did have a few really funny lines, I must say. I know there was audio issues, but he had some funny lines uh, tonight. Um, but, uh, but yeah, Ozzy, I guess, no big fan of the hardcore hillbilly. That's but, all right. He has bad taste. but uh, uh, Yes, he is a favorite. But, you know, Mosh Pit Mike didn't have a, a good night this night. He may not have been uh, pinned, but he didn't win. He but, had an easier night that night. Mosh Pit Mike uh, in Amarillo, Texas, having to most likely lose that bunkhouse champion. What do you mean most likely? That motherfucker's Kruger. going down. Barbed wire oh, well. match. Kruger is claiming the fucking gold. Mosh Pit I Mike mean, is going to drag you back down to hell. April he can 27th, run. April 27th. Can, yeah. Ain't no party like a hobo man party. Outcast Extreme Wrestling. There you go. There you go. Yeah, I don't know. Mosh, that that Mosh C word above, above Kruger is going to change to champion instead of challenger. Mosh there you go. Yeah. But Mosh Pit Mike might run. He may not even show up. So This is true. He does Who have knows? to show up. 
It's got to show up and show out. All right, which leads us to match number three. Everybody's favorite clown, Dirty Ron McDonald, with his uh, lovely valet, Dirty Peggy, I believe was her name, taking on Tarzan Duran. Uh, Two favorites of Flesh Wound Features. I've always uh, been really high on Tarzan Duran, and of course, Dirty Uh Ron's Dirty Ron. Uh, (laughs) Pretty awesome. Yeah, I was really upset during this match, not with the workers, not with the wrestlers. Those guys did their part. But we tried to get a Dirty Ron Goldman chant when he brought out the knife. And I'm like, are you fuckers too young to know what's going on here? Because these pussies would not chant along with us. Oh, yes. We, we, we did not mention all, all the great OJ chants at the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> we tried to, Todd tried, yelled out, give him a 10 bell salute. Didn't happen. Yeah. But then we chanted, she deserved it. And then he said he deserved it. But did that, was that on TV? I, I, well, I, I don't know. I heard Ron cutting a promo about fucking a fan's dead mom. Yes, that uh, was awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember. I, it didn't lead that. He just like, oh, you know, like, there is she's a huge, dead. There is a huge question though. Was she already dead, or did he fuck her to death? I don't know. These are questions Oof. I need answered. <laughs> you know? Oh, so he t- to death then again, mm-hmm. just to make sure. Double tap. That is. <laughs> I don't know. I think we're gonna have, have Dirty Ron on for confirmation. I think so. we're gonna have to get crack reporter Ozzy B on the case and determine whether she was dead or alive. Well, we'll we'll make that happen. Or maybe Greg. Maybe Greg. He can take a side gig as flesh wound reporter. That'll be That's fun. cool. <laughs> but uh, yes, after after the the promo, Ron and Tarzan have a have a smoke off. Passing the blunt a little bit before they uh, before they go at it and beat each other's asses, uh, which they tried certainly... to spice it up with some yeah, with, yeah. with some booger I know, they should have just came together. Yeah, Steve L. I love the opening spot. That's what she puff said. Pa- puff pass puff. <laughs> there you go. That was uh, that kicked it off. Uh, Ron does an impressive amount of uh, of coke off of Tarzan's back pretty scary amount that was like a viscera line that he did off of him <laughs> and uh, uh i don't know that, that, <laughs> and <never mind. laughs> that was that that's a I, if, for those of you that don't get the reference sean michaels got viscera fired for doing a giant line off of the hood of a car from one end to the other Vince, he just did the biggest line of cocaine I ever saw. But that true, pal? Yes, Vince, it is. <laughs> Fired, pal. Now, then, that's the story they tell. The truth is, he lined up in even bigger lines, like, you're a pussy. <laughs> and you're fired. <laughs> and then he to, to leg sweep him. And then he shit on a coworker. <laughs> I guess it would be employee, but... Yeah. Well, not if you fired him. <laughs> well, we know what they had to do to get hired back. Uh, but anyways... Uh, after some stiff chair shots to Tarzan's head, a uh, two by four wrapped in barbed wire was introduced. Tons of blood, as you already mentioned. We get uh, the knife, and uh, you tried. You'll get that chant going next time for sure. Um, and uh, uh, I did like the line that ain't no special sauce, uh, as the blood <laughs> was flowing. Uh, Tarzan hits that awesome suicide dive on Ron uh, outside the ring. Uh, a microwave is introduced at one point. We get cheeseburgers in this match, man. Happy meals, I, man. Have we ever had a match that included both cocaine and cheeseburgers? <laughs> the hot wax. That was the one. The, oh, uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, when, he, when he put it in the microwave and did the hot wax to Tarzan's chest. That I was, uh, ouch, ouch. Um, hey, you make him yeah, they, clean shaven next show. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I can imagine that there would be a really funny spot recreating that in a Miss Extreme contest, but I'm going to keep <laughs> it to myself for now. Uh, but anyways, uh, we, with cheeseburgers, we get thumbtacks. We get fire, Ron dropping the flaming elbow 
for the win. Dirty Ron picking up the win once again. But uh, once again, Tarzan with a great showing. Uh, had a blast once again. Uh, this match is just as insane as you would expect it. Do you guys have anything to add? Uh, I love this fucking thing, and I hope we get to see them do it a couple more times. I hope they feud. I, I really Five do. out of seven. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. All right, so up next, Demonology hits, and Cat Martini comes out. Uh, followed by Mickey Knuckles, they go back and forth with a with a dual promo, and we get a big shock as Lou Dark Shaitan makes her return to XPW, and the crowd goes save. wild. The crowd does go wild, that was making a pop. the save. Yeah. That was a big pop. I missed Lou Dark. I'm glad to see her back. And uh, so match number four, uh, we leads into Lou Dark Shaitan taking on Mickey Knuckles. And uh, that microwave gets more use with uh, Mickey getting suplexed onto it. Ludark bites Mickey's titty. Playing dirty in this match. Uh, She's we see biting Mickey. her lower region as well, dude. I was going to say, there's a okay. lot of... A lot of like, I'm like, this is all you. Painful, uh, painful biting going on. Uh, Mickey gets tossed through some light tubes at ringside. Uh, there's a nasty... Uh, Death Valley driver through a door. Uh, we uh, we get a pump handle slam, and Mickey gets the win with the senton. There was a guy that was kind of standing up uh, in front of hard cam that kind of blocked some of that finish, but uh, I believe it was it Cat that took the Death Valley driver or Lou Dark Cat into Cat, Lou okay. Dark. Yeah. There we go. Okay, I thought so. So, yes, Mickey gets the win. Uh, wild, crazy-ass match, as you would expect from these two lovely ladies. Um, and, uh, yeah. Right, thoughts, let's address the thoughts. issue. <laughs> yeah, it, it, it is time to address the yeah. issue. Oh. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, there were some issues on commentary. Some things were said. Um, not Ozzy V. I'm just putting that out there. He, I, I know yes, Ozzy's professionalism, yes. but, yeah, I... You know, someone uh, like yeah. I could spin it. Pork chops are delicious, so like <laughs> take that as what you will. But Mickey Knuckles, <clears throat> Mickey Knuckles is a fucking death match. No, no, a fucking legend. She's so fucking cool in the back. She deserves yeah. more than this. Now I'm not gonna shit on him because I don't know his knowledge of them. But if you're gonna be on this fucking thing, you should know a thing or two. Ask Ozzy. Ask somebody else. If you don't remember her name, make up something a little more flattering than than you know that. Yeah, yeah. pork chop. You can call me a pork chop. I don't give a shit. I'm not a worker. I'm I, yeah. I, I, whatever. She deserves better. Uh, as funny as as he is, that I, I, I think this is done. <laughs> Steve, was... why, why didn't Larry pull that guy ear and drag him out of the booth? He was probably not around <laughs> to yeah. hear him. Yeah, yeah, but you know that's going to be addressed. And, and it's Ozzy's uh, first time. I really don't expect him to take charge. Like I know Ozzy wanted to. or or will, <laughs> you know. <laughs> uh, yeah, so not to shit on shit on Mitch. That's that if Mickey wants to address that, by all means, it's it's her right. Uh, but yeah, you, you got gems, but you need you need you need work, man. Got to respect the business. That's yeah, like a thing. And yes. calling the pump handle slam. Someone else's move that named it. Well, Rhea Ripley. Because like clearly you watch WWE, which uh, duh, she's like the biggest fucking wrestler in the world at the moment, or one of. Uh, it's it's that move's been along before her. It'll be here after her. When, <laughs> when in doubt, when in doubt, what a maneuver or slam, if you will. <laughs> Steve simple, L. To simple. say it once was tolerable, but he said it over forty times. <laughs> yes. yes. And now, had I been in earshot, I was like, "Hey, her name's Mickey," but you know, yeah, I'm, we're, I'm not in a position to do that there yet. Yeah, I mean, I <laughs> I would have got word. Yeah, it's it's yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like, "What's he doing? What's he doing?" Uh, but live and learn and come out better. That's what I always I say. I think we're being pretty nice because yeah, uh, yeah, Mickey. 
everyone loves you. Like, we love you here, Mickey. Yeah, if you, absolutely. If you, Not just here. Yes. Like we have a bunch of love. Uh, yeah, that the whole uh, pump handle issue. I don't know what the hell happened. <laughs> One I still of the most fun. fun yeah. What even just aside from being a great wrestler, one of the most fun people to watch live. <laughs> crowds never crowds always on their feet, losing their minds when Mickey Knuckles is out there. So yes. Steve L. <laughs> Any chance Rob can put him in a match with Mickey. <laughs> it's not gonna make it through that one. That's, <laughs> that's I couldn't take I mean, <clears throat> that's an intergender match I support. <laughs> There Listen, you go. There listening you. to him say uh bite the coochie though, like some of those <laughs> lines are fucking amazing. <laughs> so. there, one here and there I is you know yeah, but fun. like when you start doing like for, uh Steve L said 40 times, like dude, you gotta not do that. Just say her or she use the pronouns. <laughs> but yeah, fun time overall. Glad Lou Dark's back. Happy Mickey retained, and uh hope cat's okay. <laughs> Yes, yes. All right. So uh, that leads us to match number five, J.D. Horror, accompanied by Giggles, another UEW legend, taking on Judge Joe Dredd with Stephen Jury. Um, so uh, as you can imagine, these two gentlemen kick the living shit out of each other. Uh, we get a thumbtack flip-flop. That sounds fun to say. Thumbtack flip flop. Uh, we get. Can you, uh, say, the, can you say it the, the Latin way? Uh, chancla. Say chancla. That's legit. I'm not, I'm not fucking because with it's you. probably some fucking. No, it's, it's not. It's not. Canceled in. I say that anyway. I wouldn't do it with chancla. <laughs> uh, but, anyways, I don't trust you. So, JD tosses. <laughs> JD gets tossed through a barbed wire door. Uh, dread eating the barbed wire board. Uh, this was uh, just a lot of fucking blood, a lot of carnage and mayhem, as you would expect. And uh, it, at the end of the day, though, JD Har just wasn't enough to stop the rampaging Judge Joe Dread, who picks up the win with the death sentence onto the barbed wire door. Uh, another one bites the dust to Judge Joe Dread. He might be picking up that title pretty soon. Yeah, he's uh, what fucking was it? sentencing. He's giving death sentences out left and right, man. <laughs> he is. He is. Yeah. Um, so, what, what did you guys think of this match? I know, uh, you know, you know JD from way back, but yeah, you uh, can, you know. he, he had on episode two of UITV on streamxpw.com. JD Horan made his UEW debut and beat the shit out of a piece of shit Californian that shan't be named. <laughs> <laughs> it does sure you can say you can say joey ryan Tad. the dick flip i would rather enough. him have the name california than the other california <laughs> although what he did might be a good way uh, maybe we'll get maga jd one day who fucking knows <laughs> uh, this well, match gave me exactly what i wanted i love both of these guys so i cheered for both of them i'm not booing anybody uh, but I dread is on a roll. Sorry, JD. I love the shit out of you. I love you, giggles. But like, that is a hard train to stop that Joe's on right now. And uh, he he sees the gold. He's going for it, and I'm I'm here for it. It's he's gonna get it eventually. And oh, he, he absolutely. I'll, I'll I'll uh I'll start my um my confusion. I don't know my my emotions uh when that happens though, because our current champion. It's only Jimmy, and like I don't want you guys to fight. Be friends. Be friends. Go exactly. and Ryan. <laughs> we'll get to that in a little bit. You need to represent Jimmy. Get him off the streets. You know, get him into you know some some affordable housing. You know, Jimmy needs Jimmy needs your help. Just just yeah. Bobo yeah. powers unite. Make it happen. <laughs> uh, great match. match. Uh, which one were we talking? J uh, JD uh, and Judge JD, 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 yeah, um, yeah, it, it was exactly what I expect or well, wanted. It was, you know, um, I, you know, I like both guys, but obviously I wanted JD to get that win. But Joe Dredd's on a hot streak right now. It's it's he's hard to beat. I mean, 
even even not winning the the deathmatch title last month, there's no argument his claim to it. Seventy minutes plus. So yeah, yeah, that's some cardio and big dude like us. Seventy minutes. I don't think I can do anything for seventy minutes. So <laughs> he's sitting, goes. ladies. <laughs> that's not what I meant, Todd. You just said anything. <laughs> God damn it, Todd. That's something. <laughs> that's that's the kind of shit that gets you punched, Todd. I, I'm, <laughs> I, I'm, won't be the first I'm, time, probably won't be the last. Does it, it's bad, dude? Tito on pro wrestling tees. I'm gonna do some shopping after the show. Uh, okay. So, all right, I, I got some Blu-rays to buy, then Dan, and some DVDs. How you like that shit? You, you know send, what I'm talking about. You send Tito. We'll send Kruger. I know he's home team, but he's itching for it, Dan. <laughs> Just one time. Wouldn't be the first time Tito uh, faced Kruger. Yeah. Well, this is true. Yes. Yes. I. Don't remember the event to, off the top of my head, but that is it was true. In the tag match with the Insaniac and the Donkey Fucker. I'm at three. <laughs> His name is Joey Ryan, Todd. No, we, Joey Ryan was never in UEW. He was in XPW, though, already. If you, well, non canon XPW because that was in Cold Day. Yeah. Now, so, yeah, I was yes. like, if you ask Rob Black, it. No. Yeah, I, that's right. Non canon. <laughs> XPW is dick flip free. Uh, only after the show. All right. So, match number six. We get Masada taking on Ricky Shane Page. And uh, some stiff shots in this one, gentlemen. Uh, these two guys, there was animosity about. Also, I should say a number one contendership match as well. Um, so it seemed like these guys didn't like each other. <laughs> it was a hard hitting match. Just yes, yes, hard hitting. You thought you got hit hard, uh, Ricky? Oh no, I didn't think I got hit hard. Yeah, he actually he let bad dude know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, like a bitch. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. <laughs> I know. Go. It takes me back. I go into that mode. Yeah, Masada and uh, RSP. That yeah, I do. Uh, oh, when I was, um, I didn't watch the entire stream. I had to skim through it. Ran out of time. Uh, I did notice that the big uh, corner move. I, you know, I, I don't know if I want to throw his name out there, but yeah. Okay. Uh, that I, I talk. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that sucked. And then, well, Dan, you saw it out there. What did you think? Oh, oh you man. Uh, really just stiff. I mean, uh, Maga Butcher was in Japan, but uh, Masada carrying on that ass whipping uh, tradition uh, felt like a real Masada. fight. <laughs> lot, just nasty, nasty shots back and forth. Uh, I'm sure live you could probably feel it at times. <laughs> I was just like I was watching uh, with uh, with Kruger uh, on our Discord. Uh, just just we were both watching at home, and I was just like, Jesus Christ! Somebody owes somebody money. Wow, what an ass kicking! Uh, back and forth. Uh, I love both of these guys. Masada, of course, the Death Match Undertaker. The argue. Well, I'll say arguably, but I mean he's up there with the only maybe only second to Supreme is the best that's ever done it uh in deathmatch wrestling. Lots of great psychology too. I mean, Masada can do it all. Um and yeah, this was just a really hard hitting match. Uh Masada picking up the win with a superplex through the table. Uh, there was a couple issues during this. I thought maybe those were skewers that I might have missed on the ground. Uh, yeah, um, on the Ricky, Shane, Ricky Shane Page and um, took the skewers from Masada and yes. reversed it, put it on him. So, oh, yeah, he, yeah, lots Masada of blood got, in this too. Yeah, it was good. Uh, but uh, fuck, I forgot what I was saying. But anyway, these two seeing these two big dudes fuck each other up, pretty good. I want to see this, this again with with maybe I don't know a stipulation so, something a little more violent because I do think they held back a little bit even though they were beating the shit out of each other I would like to see them go at it again. 
I do think that this uh, this warrants a rematch down the line. But uh, Masada, a little bit too much for Ricky this night. Uh, Masada picking up the win once again. And happy to see Masada doing table. good after the, the burns and stuff. Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. Toughest guy ever. I mean, I was there. And I was like, dude, your face was on fire. <laughs> it's like, like, eh. Mm-hmm. Like it Just was, flesh, you right? pussy. <laughs> <laughs> I just remember after the show, I was just sitting there drinking a beer. I feel, like our, I feel like our intro needs to just be like, it's just a flesh wound and just cut to that. Just, <laughs> and anytime I feel, I feel like complaining about something, yeah, my knee hurts, my back hurts. I just remember Masada was on fire and didn't even think he needed to go to the hospital. So what a badass. Uh, so, all right. Match number seven. Homeless Jimmy, the hardcore nomad. Defending his King of the Death match title against Dr. Redacted, or he refers to him as something else, but uh, we'll go with Dr. Redacted since we're here on YouTube. You mean murder uh, proctologist? Hmm. The also- murder proctologist is okay. And also uh, Homeless Jimmy is the vicious nomad. Um, where did Hardcore Nomad come from, Dan? You trying to start something? <laughs> I'm, I'm just... He's, 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 Botch! He's, we'll talk about botches later. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ozzy. <laughs> don't yes, uh, don't lose your sanity, Tad. Uh, so, all right, so we get uh, this one was fucking violent. Uh, I'm a big fan of Doctor Redacted. Uh, he can he can take an ass whipping. We got a really cool. We got the the uh, Skeletor light tube, which I thought was really awesome. I just want to make one of those now uh we get a what i can't confirm this with the stream but did uh did he sm- after the light tube did he smash a funko pop on jimmy yeah and so I, what I, funko I, pop was it i believe it was a walking dead funko it was uh Mich- Rich- ah. michonne, michonne and rick or michonne with the zombie okay Mich- okay michonne was in the box i did oh Okay, well then, there you have it. Breaking news: Walking Dead Funko Pop. I don't know who left with that. Maybe it's some uh, lucky fan. <laughs> some lucky fan, or just yeah, it just entered one of the wrestlers. Who knows? Depends how they landed, but uh, but yeah. So lots of crazy shit. We even get uh, some green mist introduced. Uh, light tubes. Uh, there's a really nasty moment where the good doctor misses a swanton and lands on the cart. Uh, Jimmy's shopping cart. That was that was painful looking. Uh, this one really brought the violence. Arguably the match of the night, I would say. Depending what you're looking for, certainly... Uh, uh, the opener was hot, but I would say this was probably match of the night. Uh, Jimmy hitting his finish on the top of the cart for the victory. Uh, he could have that title for a while. It's going to be hard to take it off. The vicious, hardcore nomad. And what was, did you guys was, think? It was his return to the West Coast with the title, too. So, And his first defense. It was Glorious to see. Glorious I am... I was gonna say I wasn't the biggest redacted fan at first, but I am, I am seeing, and I don't know if it's because I'm seeing in an XPW environment shining. Um, honestly, it may have a lot to do with it, but I am really enjoying him now. I'm glad you are now in the doctor's office waiting room because I've been here the entire time. (laughs) (laughs) So, I I loved it. I of course I'm going for Jimmy. Like I, Doctor Redact is fucking awesome. But you're not former UEW heavyweight champion. Yeah, never uh, lost it. And he will remind you of that. This is this is true. This is uh, true. Good. I feel like the body might return too uh, soon when he hears that he's known as the murder proctologist. <laughs> <laughs> Are you gonna he murder? Me, he wants the will. He wants the will. The Will Smith, Smith treatment. Murder them cheeks. <laughs> <laughs> There you go, Doctor Redacted. <laughs> we, we will make the challenge on behalf of the body. Murder them, jeez. But this match was fucking badass. Seeing homeless Jimmy every fucking time rules. Uh, 
yeah, him and Dr. Deck had fucked that shit up. Another one I wouldn't mind seeing uh, uh, a rematch for, but uh, yeah. I'm yeah. glad Dr. Redacted is in the house. Is there a doctor in the house? <laughs> yes. There you go. There you go. All right. So up next, we have our main event, Schlack defending his XPW championship against and we have Eric some ex- Ryan. And, and we have some exclusive footage, too. We doing that first? No, it's of it's of the finish, so we're not at first. Oh, okay, okay, Chad. All right, all right, all right. Uh, in, so, in case the stream fell out again, when we did our part to preserve uh, what happened. This great moment, yes. All right, so we kick things off fairly er- early with our own Ozzy V eating a tube. <laughs> Steve so L. Sh- or oh, as yeah. Ozzy calls him. Eric Young. <laughs> yeah. That's a lot better than pork chop. I'm just going to throw that out there. I, I, I get it. Because I asked him, he's like, yeah, I made him that. <laughs> but you know what? He he got a, over 440 yellow that if he didn't win the title, he was yes. out. You know, I, I was like, God damn it. You know, thrown in the deep end i'll just say that he was thrown in the deep end thrown in the deep end indeed gets a little confused he still has those team canada underpants and uh that just (laughs) just threw him for a loop got confused it happens to the best of us you know um but anyways eric ryan uh so uh eric ryan suplexes schlack off the apron through that chair back that looked really painful uh eric ryan eats a pair of really painful looking gonzo bombs from schlack uh back and forth match they beat the shit out of each other and uh at the end of the day a shocker eric ryan picks up the win over schlack uh perhaps it was that uh stipulation that if he didn't win he had to leave XPW. He got the job done, ending a historic title reign from Schlack. I don't know what the official day count was on that. It's not but... 666, but it's yeah, reign get... nonetheless. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> well, let's let's yeah. check out the footage we got too, since we were talking about the finish. Mm-hmm. Yes. That was the last one, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was the very end. Uh, uh, Sid Vicious, Psycho Sid, I hope you watch it. That's how you fucking land on your feet. <laughs> I was going to say, Psycho Sid, you're a pussy. Schlack like, was like way higher than you. Okay, bear. I still walk him. Still walk him, but nonetheless. Eric Ryan, new XPW champion. Well earned. Uh, not easy to put down Schlack. Very few people have done it. And... There you go. What do you guard. guys think? It caught me off guard. I'm pretty sure you heard my voice going, what? Or no. <laughs> uh, did not expect that, which is very cool. Uh, but oh, it's so sad. to. I'm going to see Schlack without any type of belt. That's fucking weird. What the yeah. fuck is that? What, what the f- very weird. Fucking, we had the tribal chief drop his shit. Schlack's dropping his shit. The world is not right at the moment. <laughs> uh, Gunther, which Schlack wasn't very happy about. Because uh, well, they, they sold the shit, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, oh, and fucking, I, I fully expected Ricky Shane Page to come out and get involved like Eric did in the other match, but yeah, maybe they got they'll settle their, eh, yeah. settle their beef hey. later. Eric well, maybe- Ryan. Eric Ryan got the job done, he didn't even have to have any run in from PD Williams. Uh, yeah. he well, took maybe- it, man. 
maybe look what you made me do. We'll get uh, that title defense with the four four hoes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you got. They don't like each other right now, right? The yellow they're and the beefing. blue. I wonder yeah. if they're going to do the NWO Wolfpack. All stuff. you fucking blockbuster nerds can eat a fucking dick. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Look at like the goddamn logo, you two fucks. I was forced <laughs> to wear that color, sir. <laughs> it worked <at> Target. <laughs> uh, I like khaki. <laughs> I was a lot of wear black pants. Uh, but uh, we have other, other clips, right? We have those set up. Yeah, we can check. I don't know. Uh, yeah, we're just yeah. They're, they're just random now. <laughs> yeah, that's all right. That angle looks a lot. My angle looks a lot more less ah, less painful than the hard cam. Uh, you can see what where it went wrong. But those chairs are made of fucking steel. And yeah. Eric Ryan's not like a heavy guy. Schlack might be, but uh, that was shocking not to see those chairs break. That had right. to fucking hurt. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's worse when they don't. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see the last. One. I suddenly miss Jason and wish you were recording the whole show, Pucks, like that. <laughs> Old school. Uh, well, oh, damn it. Uh, I, I see someone says, uh, Steve L., next show you guys need to film the show. Rob Black will give you free admission for oh, life. Uh, I, I, I might or might not have mentioned I, I have a very good cameraman who's not a pussy and gets in there. I mean, I might have said that already. Okay, cool. Because uh, I'm down. As long as I'm not busy at work. <laughs> I didn't say he was always available. Yeah. But uh, that when Eric Ryan fell through those chairs, the force of that guardrail fucking hurt. <laughs> like, I'm not even in the match. That shit bounced off my stomach and my elbow. Hurt like a motherfucker. I can only imagine what they felt like. That was, that was cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... That brings us to the end of a historic XPW baptized in blood for. Um, I am very excited going forward to see what happens next. A new era with Eric Ryan as champion. And I think there's some pretty exciting shit brewing. Uh, so stay tuned, guys. I think you're going to you're going to well, before be the next shocked. show. Uh, we have our number one contender, contender Masada, versus our, our current champion Eric Ryan. Going for home team. Let's go, Masada. Get that shit back. Well, the one thing to remember, though, Ohio. as we've seen with the Deathmatch Championship, it doesn't mean the number one contender will get it the very next show. Because look, Joe Dredd. This was for the world title. I know that, but I'm saying it's wouldn't be the oh, first time. Oh, you're, you're correct. But then, no, they, I think they announced that yesterday, didn't they? Oh, okay. Yeah. <clears throat> Larry said. <clears throat> Larry okay, said, did. Yeah. It was yeah. confirmed. Okay. Yeah. So no 4-4 four, four home. But match. also, if you read up the, 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 the bottom print, card subject to change. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so I guess on that note, be sure to check out streamxpw.com. If you ordered Baptized in Blood 4, I believe... Uh, you've got a surprise coming your way. And uh, what else do we have to promote, Todd? Well, Flesh it was a feature, of course. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Yeah, and we'll have another SC. We've had a lot of SCSs, but we got yeah. another one coming up soon because we're going to be doing more Dark Side of the Ring. Absolutely. Absolutely. And that's all I got. 
So, in closing, I just want to say, come again, Hulk. God damn it. Don't, Dan. Uh, good evening. <laughs> I'll see you in Disneyland. XP Dub. XP Dub. XP Dub.